Boys and girls, we're learning about art and the artists, but we're also learning about music in the next couple of weeks. This story is called Little Pig Joins the Band by David Hyde Costello. That's who wrote this story. Little Pig Joins the Band. His friends are saying, come on, Little Pig. Sometimes Little Pig didn't like being little. He didn't like being little. Sometimes he didn't even like being called Little Pig. My name is Jacob, he said to all of his friends. When his brothers and sisters got out Grandpa's old marching band instruments, what do you suppose happened? <gasps> Little Pig looked around for something to play, something that he could play. You kids have fun. I'll go pack us a picnic, said Grandpa. Okay. Little Pig was too little to play the drum. So Margie played the drum. She's bigger. Do we have any piccolos? Little Pig wanted to know. Maybe he could play the piccolo. Little Pig was too little to play the trombone. What should Little Pig play? Hmm. So Peter played the trombone. Do we have any harmonicas? Asked Little Pig. Hmm. Little Pig was too little to play the trumpet. So, so Sally played the trumpet. I know, said Little Pig. A kazoo. He could play a kazoo. Oh, forget it, he said. Little Pig was too little to play the, what's this one called? That one is a tuba. Big tuba. So Tiny played the tuba. If he's tiny, shouldn't I be called Big Pig? Hmm, he should. Little Pig was just too little to join the band. Look, boys and girls, Little Pig is sad. He wants to join the band, but he's too little. He watched everyone marching around the house. Little Pig said, aren't you all supposed to be marching together? Shouldn't you all be playing the same thing? He listened to the music as they were playing. Then he got an idea. Hey, he got an idea. What's his idea? And then he's thinking. And then he said, look out. Oh, no. Everybody was playing at all different kinds of ways, and they all ran into each other. No fun. Little Pig got, on, got an idea. Little Pig knew what the problem was. They need a band leader. Someone to lead them so they know where they're going. My goodness, they're all wondering what happened. Ooh, what went wrong? Did somebody lose a button? Why is he called, why is he called Tiny anyway? Everybody is on the floor. They don't know what to do. But Jacob had an idea. He put on a costume or a uniform, not a costume, a uniform, and he was the band leader. He's got his baton, and he's going to lead the band. You know what the band leader is called? He's called a drum major. That's what it is. A baton and a whistle, and off he goes. Little Jacob, little Jacob, little pig found out what he could do. So he stood in front of everybody and said, Okay, everybody, line up. Because that's what a leader does. Huh. March left and then march right. Ooh, little piggy was a good leader. All together now, he said. All together now. <gasps> little pig gave the signal and off they marched. Hey, somebody said. We sound good. Now they're all playing together, marching together because they have their leader right there telling them where to go. <gasps> Isn't it nice? Wasn't that nice of a uh, little piggy to help out? <gasps> Everyone was happy, boys and girls. Look here. And they all said, <gasps> nice job, Jacob. 
You're a natural leader, Jacob. Thanks, Jacob. And Jacob said, but you can call me, you can call me Little Pig. I don't care. Little Pig knew what to do. He is the nice leader of the band. Little Piggy is so proud. Hey, that was a fun story. Did you enjoy that? I'm glad I did too. That's a nice story. We'll see you when I see you.